Hey there, so this is Victoria, or as a lot of you know me, Tori Lifts. I had posted a picture saying Q&A, and a lot of people asked me really good questions, so I figured I would post a video of all the questions that you guys asked. So let's go to Okay, so let's start from the very beginning. How many days can I do legs? And if you can please tell me, uh, tell us about the food before training and between. Thank you. Great question. So a lot of people think that because it's a large muscle group that you have to train it only one time a week. But you'll see people such as myself and other bodybuilders that will train legs two times a week. And so... My thing is to do one light day and one heavy day. And so, well, and also do like a glute hamstring with some quads day and then like a mostly quads and some hamstrings and glutes day. So switch it up. But you can do it two times a week. I wouldn't do more or else you're just going to be sore and you can't walk. No one wants that. Um, food before and in between and stuff like that. I mean, I'm not eating during workouts, but I guess after and whatnot. So before I usually have a sweet potato or um, oatmeal with a side of protein such as egg whites or chicken or something like that. The reason why I do that is because it's slower digesting. So that egg whites and oatmeal before working out is really going to keep me full throughout the workout instead of getting hungry in between being on the cardio and being like, oh, I'm so hungry. And so after I work out, then I'll have fast digesting. So I'll have like a whey protein post-workout and with um, either um, like quick oats, which is still pretty slow digesting, but um, I'll do quick oats with my waffles. And um, or I might do some fruit in there too. So fruit is really good post-workout. I wouldn't really recommend having a diet with a lot of fruit, but if you're going to eat it, breakfast and post-workout are the best times. Other than that, sweet potato rice, quinoa, oatmeal, Ezekiel bread, and all the regular bodybuilder proteins is a good choice. Um, not answering that. My brother, do you even lift? Um, what do you recommend eating before you lift if you work out really early, like 5.30 a.m.? Still, the normal, oatmeal and egg whites, definitely. Or if you want, chicken and sweet potato. But I do not recommend having fruit before a workout. Why? Because you're going to spike your sugar levels, and then they're going to drop really quickly in the middle of your workout. No good. Um, do you train six days a week? Yes. In the beginning of my prep, I was doing five days a week and five days a week of cardio and have two days off, so usually like a Wednesday and a Sunday. Now that it's getting closer to the show, I kind of up my intensity, so I do six days a week of cardio and six days a week of lifting, and I have Sundays completely off. So I could split up my cardio more so that I could do it just every day in less time, but I like to get it all in. That way I have one day completely to rest. Um, how are you preserving muscle mass while in a deficit and doing a lot more cardio than you used to? I'm not doing more cardio than I used to, actually. When I was bikini, I was doing about an hour and a half. I would do 30 minutes in the morning plus plyometrics, which was another half hour. So that's an hour and a half, for, or that's an hour right there. And then in my workout, I would do a half hour post-workout, but I would also do about six different intervals on the treadmill it was really crazy I was doing sprints in between supersets so I could be doing less cardio but I also like to lift like a bodybuilder and so I'm not gonna do supersets and giant sets and run around the gym and do little sprints here and there no I'm gonna lift like a freaking bodybuilder lift heavy weight and save my energy for the weights and then I'll just do some freaking cardio. <laughs> but before when I was bikini, every single workout was like five different giant sets and then in between giant sets. So I would do three different exercises back to back for three times, three for 15. 
and then I would run upstairs because cardio was upstairs and do six minutes of like one minute sprints, one minute walk, and then I'd do that about six times. It was ridiculous. No. Um, besides the addition of cardio, how have you changed your lifting sessions to get you ripped, or have they not changed? Haven't changed. And that's how I'm preserving muscle mass. I lift heavy no matter what. I'm having a bad day. I'm not feeling strong. I'm not changing my workout. I'm not going to do 20 rep exercises. I'm going to still go up and wait until I can't do it anymore. And so I'll start like shoulder presses. Sometimes I'm really weak when I go in there for shoulders and those are my favorite body parts to train. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to freaking do this. So I'll lift, I'll start with the 30s, go up to 35, go to 40, go to 45. Now by the time I'm at 45, I'm at like 12 reps and then I'll pick up the 50s and I can't even like pick them off the ground. I'm like, this sucks. And I'll bring Rob over to help me. And I'll get eight reps, eight forced reps, but I'm doing it. And so that's how I train. And so that's how I'm keeping muscle, pushing myself to the absolute limits. Um, do you get headaches while being on a deficit? If so, how do you deal with them? I don't get a lot of headaches. There's days where I'm really hungry and I'll eat like celery and more salads and stuff to cure up my hunger until I eat again. But I really listen to my body. If I'm having a migraine, I'm not going to do a bunch of sprints and I'm not going to try and pass out at the gym. I'm going to listen to myself and think, okay, if I need to cut my cardio short because I'm getting cold sweats, I'm going to do that. And it's not going to affect me one day. It does matter if you do that every day, but one of the days you have to listen to your body. So the days that I really don't feel good, I'll just make up for it another session. Um, and I drink about an over a gallon of water. That makes a difference. Always hydrated. Um, what's your cardio regimen? How long, how often, and what machines? Okay. I'm not saying how much cardio I do. It's definitely not two hours, but it's a little bit more than one hour. But I'm not telling you because every single body is different. And what I'm doing is lifting really heavy, not a lot of time in the gym for lifting because that's how I feel I'm going to keep muscle. I'm not going to lift for an hour and a half of 20 reps and do a little bit less cardio because my workout was cardio. No. Lifting is how I keep muscle and build muscle while dieting even. And then cardio is to burn the fat off. And so if I have to do more cardio because I'm not lifting as long, that's that's how I do it. But I use the stepper, I use the Stairmaster, and I do incline sprints. Um, I don't do long distance running at all. I haven't stepped foot on an elliptical, but um, I use the bike now and again if my back's hurting because I have a little bit of back problem, but that's about it. Um, what is your carb cycle and supplements you take? How much protein do you recommend? Um, starting point since everyone is different. Um, starting point of protein, I would say to do your body weight and see how you feel. If you feel you need a little bit more, then get a little bit more. But I would definitely say body weight for sure. Nothing less than that. So if you weigh 160, eat 160. My protein's around like 200, but that's because I'm lifting a lot and I want to keep that muscle on. Um, what is your carb cycle? I do right now, well, it started as a high, medium, low, and now I do high, medium, medium, low, low, high, medium, medium, low, low. And so that's how I'm doing it now. Um, it started at 200, 150, 100, and now it's 150, 150. And so that's my carb cycle right now. It's probably not going to get less than that, though. My body is responding nicely. Um, what's your calorie deficit in a day? People make things so complicated. Um, I don't know what my calorie deficit is. I just lift, eat, do cardio. Um, on low days, do you increase your fat or protein or still consume the same amount of calories every day? And do you keep protein and fat the same and just drop the carbs? Yeah. So my protein and fat stays the exact same. The difference is only in the carbs. So my calories are pretty low on 50, 
on the 50 day, um, 50 carb day. But yeah, so it's a different amount of calories because I drop carbs. Um, do you do cardio every other day? Focus on HIIT mostly. Cardio for no longer than an hour on days it's combined with weight session. I do cardio six times a week every day. Well, except for Sunday. And do you do HIIT mostly? Yeah, so I'll do like 20 minutes of like real HIIT and then 20 minutes of like not really HIIT but like in like a interval training. And so I really just go by how I feel again. Um, if I have the energy to do a lot of hit, then I'll do a lot of hit. If I have the energy, if I don't have the energy and I just need to do like a minute, like jog at five and then a minute walk, I'll do that. Just go by how you feel. Um, cardio for no longer than an hour on days. It's combined with weight session because because I do cardio and weights six times a week. Nothing's changing. Um, I'm having difficulty leaning out. Any tips? Won't get my whole training regimen, but I do strength mostly heavy five times per week and cardio four times a week. Different variations. Eat clean for the most part. For the most part. I would say that you need to eat 99% clean. That means one of those meals out of the week, you can go have a cheat meal. But if you're having trouble leaning out and everything in your training is good, you need to check your diet. Um, what are your personal reasons for not flexible dieting? I do flexible diet. But the thing is, a lot of people that do, if it fits your macros, they give off this perception that everything they eat is like candy bars and chocolate and marshmallows and Pop-Tarts and yogurts and stuff like that. I know that I could go have a Pop-Tart for one of my meals. But I would much rather have a larger portion of rice. See what I mean? One cup of rice or one Pop-Tart. I'll take the rice because I'm a volume eater. But if I want to have, like, I sometimes will put, like, half banana as part of my carbs. I, I flexible diet. But if my macros were higher and I had, like, a huge, huge calorie allowance and I was eating, like, 3,000 calories a day, yeah, I would do flexible, way more flexible. Um, what are your opinion about carbs? Love them. Eat a lot of them during the off season. But even now, there's people that go like no carb. I will never be no carb. Never. Um, what kind of supplements did you take or are you currently taking? Um, I'm sponsored by Divine Nutrition, and I actually reached out to them. They did not reach out to me. I reached out to them because I loved their protein. Literally the best tasting protein I've ever tried. And as far as pre-workout goes, um, Immortal Labs is something I'm affiliated with. And again, I reached out to them because I love their products. So Immortal Labs, you can use my code TORYLIFTS at um, immortallabs.com and get 10% off. But their pre-workout... Really good, and their fat burner is really good. So, try this. Um, have you been gradually increasing the amount of cardio you do over time, or did you just start out prep doing the same amount you're doing now? I started my prep doing like 30 minutes four times a week, and then as the weeks went on, they gradually went up every five minutes, like five minutes per session. So then it went to like 35 minutes, then it went to 40, then it went to 45, then it went to 50, and then so forth. And so then I started adding more days and whatnot to spread it out. So yeah, gradually increase always because if you do, you're going to plateau. So if you do 30 minutes and then you get that time to increase, that's really good because if you start with an hour and a half, uh, and then you plateau, you're going to have to do an hour and 45, and then an hour, two hours, and it's just not going to be good. So, yeah. Always slowly increase. Do you know anything about belly button rings and how they may affect fat loss in the abdominal region? I had a belly button ring, and I did take it out. But the reason I took it out was mostly because it was getting infected from all the sweat. Because when I do cardio, 
like you guys have seen my pictures, I'm drenched. And what was happening is I started my bikini prep last year um, in January. And it was right after I got my belly button pierced. So I loved it. And in June, right before my last bikini show, I had to take it out because it just wasn't healing. It was literally getting infected. It was bleeding. I was getting hit on like my clothes. Ugh. And I was getting lazy about cleaning it. And so if you take care of it, it could be good. But no, it doesn't affect fat loss. I just really got infected. Um, how many lifting and cardio days do you have per week? Also, do you only limit yourself to one cheat meal per week? We'll have like refeeds now and again if my body really needs it. And for like you guys, if you're dieting for the first time and you really need that cheat meal, I think cheat meals are really good. So eat clean, have a cheat meal once a week, and then hop right back on it. Um, how many lifting or cardio days? I, I answered that six days, but it started at five. Um, things you do to bring your legs in while in prep. I don't know. Cardio. And squeezing. You gotta squeeze those quads. Um, how many calories did you cut out when you initially started your cut? I wasn't counting. I was probably eating like 4,000 calories a day because I was eating McDonald's almost every day. It was really bad. Really bad. Do not follow my lead. So bad. But um, when I started my diet, I added it all up. It was like 2,600 calories. So that's how you diet. Now it's around like 1,800 on my high days, which is still really good. Um, da, da, da. Do you do cardio before every lifting session? Never. I save all my energy for lifting, and then I do cardio after. And I do cardio, like, in the beginning of the day, but um, never, like, directly before. Um, do you do more sets with lower weights or less sets with really heavy weight? Less sets with really heavy weight. That's how you build your muscle. Having trouble leaning out my tummy, I eat clean, cardio, and weight trip, weight train. What tips could you give me? I would have to know your height, weight, and your like cardio amount per day. But a lot of people overthink it. Add all your food up. Protein and carbs can be the same amount that you weigh, and fat could be around like 30 to 50. Put fat in like breakfast, pre-workout, and bedtime meal. And start with 30 minutes of cardio and do some hit three, like three times a week. And then if you're not leaning out there, add a little bit more cardio, like 10 minutes a session. And then next week, add a little bit more. Once you get to like an hour a day, then maybe you want to cut some calories. But you shouldn't, I mean, you shouldn't really have a lot of issues getting lean doing that. Um, do you think the modality of cardio makes a difference? Mm-mm. Arc trainer versus running as long as you keep your heart rate up. Yeah, everything's going to work your legs differently, but as far as burning calories goes, just make sure you're sweating. Just sweat. Um, prep meals. Oh, my cousin. Um, yeah. Chicken, rice, steak, sweet potato. Make sure that you're eating, like, add it all up in MyFitnessPal, and make sure your macros are right. So, if you need help, just email me. Um, I'm having trouble finding a protein that doesn't make me bloat or literally feel like gagging before I drink it in a shake. I've been using whey protein with milk. Do you have any other types of protein or different mixers that you suggest? First things first. Cut the milk. Cut it. No. No milk. Why? Because these protein powders are made to be mixed with water. You're not supposed to drink milk after you work out. Like, I mean, maybe you can have, like, a little bit of, like, low-fat milk now and again, but milk is going to make you bloat even if you're not allergic to it. Just stop drinking milk. Milk is not that important. Just put the 
protein in water and drink it. And as far as taste goes, Divine Nutrition products.com use victoria at checkout for 10 for 40 percent off i have no it's i get protein so i'm not getting paid for asking you to do the victoria for 40 percent off but you can get 40 percent off putting my code in and literally the best tasting protein telling you again really good i started prepping slowly cutting macros increasing cardio one session a week now, eight days ago. My coach and I were expecting about a pound drop per week, though I've been hanging out about the same weight as when I started the past week. It's frustrating, really damn frustrating. I think to myself, well, I look leaner for sure, but it's not reflected on the scale. I try not to get hung up on it, but of course it sits there at the back of my head. What's your advice for dealing with this? Um, there were a couple weeks where I didn't lose any weight at all but I was getting leaner. So just keep going. And when it's absolutely not working and you're not seeing any physical changes, that's when you might want to increase cardio a little bit more and increase intensity. Like if I'm not sweating the first 10 minutes, I'm not working hard enough. So think about that. But you'll get there. I mean, there were weeks that, like three weeks that went in a row that I didn't lose a pound. And I actually gained a pound, but I looked better. Um, and then there were just a couple more questions. Let's see. There was someone that asked me how I dealt with gaining weight post-competition. Um, I'm trying to find the exact words. Do you eat more than five times a day? Yes, I eat seven times a day, actually. Um, what was the max weight you've ever weighed 152 it was a lot <laughs> um, where was it do you eat back the calories you burn while doing cardio no people are overthinking this way too much I don't track like net calories and how much cardio I'm how many calories I'm burning doing cardio and how much I'm eating and if I need to eat it back and be not in a calorie deficit. If you're trying to lose weight, I would say start at the weight, your protein and carbs at the weight that you weigh. So 150, eat 150 grams carbs, 150 grams protein, and about like 20% of it be fat. And then cut calories as you go and increase cardio as you go. It's not that hard. Shouldn't be that hard. Um, someone asked, I'm trying to remember what picture it was. Um, they asked how I dealt with gaining weight, like how I dealt with like self-confidence post-show. And I guess, I had like zero self-confidence like the whole seven months was really really hard and I really didn't even want to go to the gym because I felt embarrassed and I felt like I was just some fat girl here's the thing we're in control of what we're putting in our mouths and if you don't have self-control you need to check yourself in the mirror think about all the weight you lost during your prep and then like do it channel that prep girl channel that person that you were during those five hardcore months and how happy you were seeing ads and seeing all the changes that you made. We're not supposed to be so weak that after we step off stage, we literally load ourselves with junk food that we hadn't eaten in five months. And so this whole prep has been so life-changing for me because I haven't felt deprived. I don't look at food and drool. I think, oh, well, then I'll have that, like, the weekend of the show, and then be done, reverse diet, and I don't want to ever be that heavy again, and the muscle will come as I go, and I think that it was necessary for the gains that I wanted to make, but I mentally, it wasn't for the gains, it was because I just was weak, and so if you have a binging problem, post-show, please email me and talk to me about it because I've been there, done that, and I want you to stop it 
like right now, stop, just stop because you will regret it. And then seven months will go by. You'll be taking a progress picture before you start your, your prep and be completely embarrassed. And so I'm glad that I got the weight off, but it was not necessary. It was completely unnecessary to gain that much weight. And so I'm telling you right now, stop what you're doing, put that cookie down and ch channel that prep girl. But that was everything. And I will post, I'm trying to see if there was like any other questions that someone asked on other things. Um, okay. Yeah, that was all. So I'll make a video maybe once a month. If you guys have any more requests, comment below. All right. Bye.